Hey guys, welcome to Chat With Your Girl KST. It's your girl K, And today we are talking Kyrie Irvin. So I don't remember if you guys remember, but remember he posted that link to the documentary. They said the documentary was anti-Semitic. Then he further said, hey, I don't want to answer any questions. They later called him anti-Semitic and told him that in order for him to return to his play in his game, he had to return to play on his team. He had to not only apologize, but con- condemn the documentary. Well, this is what Kyrie Irvin had to say. I was not put here on earth to participate in any religious, political wars or incite racial disharmony, prejudice within commu- or prejudice within communities. We are all equal under the sun. I am here to participate in build in the building of an equal world and follow the word from the most high God. Yeah. So I feel like that was his apology slash. <laughs> I feel like that was his apology slash condemning the movie. I guess he's doing his checklist. And he's like, look, I got to do this thing. I'm doing it. And this is the most you're going to get out of me. And I feel like it says a lot. It basically addresses the issue of him being anti-Semitic. And he's like, look, I wasn't here to incite any religious or political wars or create any racial disharmony. So I feel like that addresses the whole anti-Semitic thing. It may not have been like, I'm sorry and like kissing their asses, but it's more of, hey, like what's up i'm finally answering your question i'm not anti-semitic i'm not racist you know what i mean um i like it i felt like it was short sweet to the point not nothing that is putting himself down but also not something that can't be accepted as an apology so that's what Kyrie Irvin had to say. So I guess he's done this. Hopefully he's done all the other things because we would love for that man to return to playing his basketball game like this whole thing never happened. Good luck to you, Kyrie Irvin, and I will talk to you guys next time. Bye.